we're just about to pull out of Cochin. Uh, it's five o'clock and We're just about to pull out of Cochin. It's five o'clock. Uh, we've got to back out now. Five o'clock and it's 90 degrees and it's January the 29th. Next up is Penang, three days time. First full circle.
these are Chinese fishing nets. just approaching Georgetown in Penang uh, but the sun is very very strong and uh, the, uh, there's a mist so it's a jump to sea we've just crossed this ocean this is where the tsunami was and uh, so we're going to have to miss Phuket. Terribly clear, but I can see it quite well. Frank, tell them where you are. Penang. <laughs> How'd you get on? Did you win? No. Didn't you? I can't trust you two, can I? I thought you were bound to. Nowhere near to that. Nowhere Mum's just come back from bingo and she's lost again. <laughs> Another two quid down the drain. Oh, yeah. uh, Ferris are going across the water here. Um, can't see that one. There's two of them. But there's also a bridge uh, which I can't get in. Yeah, that's the one, this is the one. 
ships over and they've all lost all those people. August 1957, formation of Malaysia in 1963, including Singapore. However, two years later, in 1965, Singapore became a republic. Ladies and gentlemen, when I mentioned Singapore 20 years ago, Malaysia go to Singapore shopping, and now Singapore come to Malaysia. The other way around, because those days, one dollar sing, one ring in Malaysia. Now, one dollar sing. This is George Tan Penang. Okay, from the bridge, if you want to go to Kuala Lumpur, ladies and gentlemen, the capital of Malaysia, you can travel on the road. We have a very good highway. Before the highway, from Penang to Kuala Lumpur, drive, eight hours. Now with the highway, four hours. So next time when you plan your holiday, you can go to Singapore, you can cross to Malaysia by Causeway and then all the way you can drive from Singapore to Colombo, Colombo to Penang, Penang to the border of Thailand. So from the border of Thailand to number four, well-trained labor, quality labor and inexpensive Very labor. Big That's what like to All of you from England? Yeah. Ah, okay. You got a good soccer team? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everton, Manchester United, Liverpool, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dalak School on your right is for the Royal Australian Air Force <coughs> yeah, officer. Those family to understand that children today, 20 years ago, hang, take center. Not less than 80 people have been hanged, including some foreign. So everything is under control. We don't care whether the son of minister or the son of the king or the queen. We hang them if they found guilty. So it's good. Yeah. I think the better is all women are smart. Oh, that's better. You can see on the left, this is the temporary houses built by the state government for the tsunami. It rise. It's the Malacca Street. Two or three times. It's steep rise for lunch and dinner, sometimes breakfast. And we eat fish, curry fish, fried fish, veggie. So we eat a lot of rice. So I'm sure that most of you, you don't eat rice every day. <laughs> you eat rice once, twice a week? Let's say, we eat rice every day, so we look smaller. Ah, you eat a lot of potato, huh? bread, spaghetti, pasta, uh, for English. This hotel is very nice, but uh, you want to cross you want to go to the beach, you have to cross the road. Surrounding this hotel, no shop again coming up. You can see on the left, shop, shopping. Ah, this is the best place for your next holiday. Hills away, always remain here on the right. The best thing in town and the Eden Seafood restaurant is one of the best Eden Seafood restaurant in Penang, but it's very expensive. And again on the right, we have two hotels here, Holiday Inn. On the right, another holiday inn on the left. And after the holiday inn, on the right, we have Tuck Royal Hotel. It's also a very nice hotel. So all these hotels are just right in front of the beach. So during the tsunami happened, none of the hotel affected. None of the hotel. Only one or two hotels where the wave come, just come near to the uh, swimming pool. Yeah. I feel better, huh? Okay, we can start now. Right, good morning. Alright, now let me explain to you how we print the uh, hand block.
of batik. Now we normally start off with a 100% cotton material, right? And if it's a special order, we also work on rayon, which is a combination of cotton and synthetics. Yeah. And then we also work on silk, pure silk. Now what we use for drawing batik designs are wax, right? So here we have a pot of wax. We heat it up so to keep it liquid and for hand drawn design we draw like this. There's two methods. One to use a stamp in post stamping which is later on not to follow it exactly. Just draw out and then after they have drawn the design with wax they will then hand paint the colors. They don't dip it. Alright? They use a brush and you'll see that back at the other side. So slowly follow me this way. Just this way. So that we can really uh, control. We have watch your step as you move along. The lumps and bumps all over the place. Just crowd around this lady right. with three hands. <laughs> you so right. Print the design all the time. Two block printed fabric come over along. Alright, we have the uh, stamped design. If you print color, print color after boiling, you get it like this. And when you use it, you see it on both sides. Alright, I leave it here. You can still the feel the material. And the hand painted one, you see the wax will stop the colors and you can hand paint as many colors as you want. Leave it to dry. We need to fix the colors before we boil off the wax. Alright? Now this is the block printing, alright, I've explained to you the hand drawn one, alright, everybody around, yeah. alright, so for the hand drawn uh, block printed batik, we use wax and they use the stamp, look around there, at the back, back here, we have stamps that are handmade, alright, right metal blocks of different patterns, alright, so everyone is handmade. So we work very quickly because of the cool surface here, and at the same time it zips right through. It won't stick to the table because of the cool surface underneath. Right? After this method, we will send this material. We don't hand paint it, but we do. If it's a special order, somebody wants it to be in different colors, we need to hand paint it. But here, the traditional method, stamp it, put into the color. These are all the stamps we use for the different materials. This is um, a little shrine. It's for the Chinese workers that work here. They pray. reservoirs in uh, Penang. The roads are very windy. This is the island tour, so we're going right round the island today. Guava, Starfruit, Pamelo, Parable, 
mango yeah we also have another fruit we call them seasonal fruit they only come out once or twice a year so when we talk about seasonal fruit it's very new to you uh, this fruit the king of the fruit for seasonal fruit is called durian smell like hell taste like heaven either you love it or you hate it i'm with tall spiky inside it's creamy so it's very smelly we are not allowed to bring inside the hotel or in the bus so if you look on your right all these big tree are durian tree so the durian is only come out in the month of june and july so during this month of june and july the They get a better flow of latex when it's cool in the morning. So it flows into little cups like this, and they have to leave it for about three hours for the latex to stop flowing. And by then, they would have about half to three quarter cup full of latex. Then one person will go round the, the trees, all the different trees, collecting the latex. Then it will be sent to the smoke house. Does it ever run out? I'm sorry? Does it ever run out? No, you can cut it once a day, every day. Because once it's dried up, tomorrow you can cut the same place again. So once it's cut, they can go to the the other side and they can cut the other part which is not been cut. Okay, just turn around to the table. You can break or show. You can just play a hammer knife over, break it to show the nut inside. That for rice right pudding, yeah? Yeah, right. Pudding, yeah, we yeah. keep it in the shell because last a long time, they last two or three years. Yeah, you buy powder or pita for shell last a few months. Yeah, because strong flavor. You smell it and pass it along, please. Not mix it, yeah? You smell it and pass it along, please, sir. Okay. So the maize and the seed together, both together, we extract the oil, not make oil. This ointment is very good for rheumatism, good for arthritis, yeah? arthritis. Insect bite, mosquito bite, muscle pain, pain, neck, egg and pain. It's very good medicine. Yeah? And that's, yeah, it's a pain. Yeah? So that's external you, internal you, stomach ache, asthma, cough, you can drink. Two or three drops in warm water, three times a day. Two drops or three drops. Yeah, the scopus, you hold your it, two or three drops. In warm water, three times a day. Internal, external use. You can try it and pass your off, please, madam. Not make oil, yeah? Just try it and pass your off. Okay? Good for arthritis, yeah? Rheumatism, egg and pain, yeah? Internal, external use. So this ointment, no color. Part of the fruits and spices. Come and get your drinks. Did you know? It's over here.
this is star fruit. It's all put in little bags to grow. This is a, a, a village, Penang village, and they like their houses on stilts for coolness. And the family run underneath out of the sun because it's very hot. Trying to get his pants to grow, I think. Must be a job because it must be well over a hundred. Little roadside cafe, I think. It was a very posh house for the little village that we've stopped in at the moment. Uh, if you have any sickness, if you go to the government hospital, we only pay one ringgit, including doctor consultation and vaccine, but very long queue. Okay, so usually when I go for the government hospital, uh, I have to go very early in the morning to get a number. And uh, private is very expensive. And Left, uh, a newly built See it through here now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Snake Temple. Follow me. When you look out, you must look down. Look at yourself. If you'll be here for 30 minutes, show 15. We're now going to go in the Snake Temple. There's a lot of history attached to it. So we'll see what happens. It's very easy to 
right? That's baby. Show me. Look down. Watch your step. Okay, uh, for religion, we practice candle, light. You know, mentioned earlier, they gave birth to the baby's name. These are the gardens surrounding the snake temple. Just up the road. This is a very relaxed music. This is a new flyover. And then putting up. <laughs> island. We have a small island here. This island is called Pulau Jeraja. So right in front, that's the island. All right, that island, uh, those days, uh, used to be a six-star hotel. Both a few years already, due to the economy uh, downturn in 1999. So those who want to buy apartment here are very expensive for on the right. bridge on the right. You can see the bridge now. Buses, lorry, 25 ringgit. Heavy vehicle more than 25, van 12 ringgit, motorbike 1 ringgit and 40 cent, bicycle walking. Right in the middle of the bridge is 33 meter high above sea level. I mean those containers which is 50,000 ton or 30 meter high, they can go through underneath. This bridge was built to stand earthquake. Very clear now, the next bridge, now you can see very clear. This bridge was built to stand earthquake, 7.5 on the richest. So we are now heading to Georgetown and then back to the pier. Right in the center of Georgetown, we have one of the tallest buildings, 65 story. From the ground, the tour today, if I speak wrongly, I'm sincerely asked for apologize. I wish all of you happy with my service. 
happy with the tour and I wish all of you the most important in life. Keep healthy. God bless all of you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you. On your left, they are doing a soya sauce. I can't see it. Both cars are getting busy and busy today. More car is coming back for the Chinese New Year. After the tsunami. It's the ferry terminal. Obviously almost back to the ship. So ladies and gentlemen, we are very soon approaching the cruise and uh, when you get down from the bus, make sure you don't leave your camera and your video behind. And you can see the building here, British architecture, we have to look like a warship for threatening. Yeah, but this is a useless form, no? not even a single cannon fire. But we still keep them for history purpose. We have a lot of cannon there, the one with the view, uh, they believe that the barren woman cannot have baby. When they touch a cannon, they make a wish they have baby. Where we have about 60% of the Malays here, all right, and about 25 to 24% of the Chinese, and 7.5% are the Indians here, all right, and the rest are the indigenous people and other mix of uh, races and all that we have uh, here. So as you come in, you will be, I mean, you will see that. Not only the local Chinese or rather the Malays, but you'll see the Indians and other indigenous people as well. Huh? The mix on the trek now of, uh, into Kuala Lumpur. Here, right? So you don't see. If you go to the west, you'll see majority of the I mean, the westerners. I mean, I mean you can see. I mean, quite obviously, if you go to China, you see a lot of slango. Slango. When I pointed to you, the green spot where we are right now, green spot. Okay, slango. The capital of slango. Right? And uh, <laughs> Some of these, I mean, uh, people they have not uh, still in the uh, the middle. Uh, I mean, they have not changed. I mean, those are squatter houses. They are trying to move them and put them in the proper uh, system of uh, housing. Uh. By the year 2005, I mean, in fact, our target by the end of the year, we are trying to I mean, get rid of a lot of these squatters before I mean, uh, not been uh, living in a proper. Uh, with proper utilities for the borders. You will find that uh, it is still not uh, up to the standard yet. I mean, there is still, I mean, a lot of changes have to be, uh, uh, have to take place. Huh? So we are actually going and uh, drive it straight <coughs> down to Thailand. We have a beautiful stretch of road of 840, 48 kilometers of uh, highway uh, stretch direct to the Thailand, from Singapore to Thailand. We have a beautiful stretch of road there. <coughs> you, be, you have to drink more water later on, okay? We have water here, okay? We have water here, you can uh, scratch your thirst afterwards, okay? And uh, uh, that's, I mean, you have to prepare, I mean, yourself. And we are not used to this kind of weather, right? So... <laughs> Say about the history part of it. 
we there was a it was a semi civilized world where people fight and you know, take over territories and they want to control and all this kind of so that was happening during that time so this man parmes persians were very good at the, the islamic i mean uh, I mean the system and all that. So to attract um, the trade and all that, some of these people converted themselves into uh, into this religion, Islam. I was not using them. Okay, they went back to Goa. They, I mean, they came back with a bigger fleet and a stronger one, and they defeated Malacca and they took over Malacca in 1511. Okay, so the Portuguese were here in this country uh, from 1511 to 1640. And uh, Klang River, we, uh, I'll let you know what I mean, the Klang River, I mean in fact the uh, Kuala Lumpur, the, the birth of Kuala Lumpur and all that later on I'll let you know what the birth of Kuala Lumpur, which actually connects to the Klang River. In fact, uh, when I said uh, Klang was the third capital of Slango, okay, and uh, Why was taken over by Kuala Lumpur? In fact, was given to Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, the fourth capital of Selangor. I mean, Selangor is the state I'm talking about. Where we are, fourth capital of the north, north eastern, eastern uh, st uh, state, uh, Kelantan. Okay, from uh, from the town of Kota Baru. They just walked in. In fact, those days they did not, of course, uh, treatment they were given and all that. I mean, the locals really. This uh, commercial area of the Shala, this commercial area of the whole area. Okay. And uh, all this, uh, this government building where shopping complexes and all that on the left, and of course on the uh, on the right is the government uh, administrative site, the, uh, the city administrative site. They have a uh, new uh, shopping complex coming up over here. Right, uh, there's a hotel here, quality hotel. And this is the area where they used to have uh, national parades and all that. This oh, is where they stay on national parades. And all oh. That. Okay, the mosque is over there on their right. You can see the dome and another blue. This is a lake proper within this area. It's a lake proper. Too late. We saw a clock just there. And just across is the state secretariat, right in front of the blue mosque. State secretariat. We're going there. Today, I mean, later part, I mean, it was about uh, almost about twelve, twelve o'clock. They'll have their uh, the uh, the uh, prayer. It's the Blue Mosque in uh, Kuala Lumpur. These buildings are close by around it. That's the bus that we're in. Public library, that place. Oh, that's a public. Uh, this is the town hall. This is the town hall. Uh, how many stories high? Terrifically high. Or to Putrajaya. Okay, Putrajaya. They are created as an administrative capital. Okay, and Kuala Lumpur still remains as the commercial capital. So we have two capitals now: huh? Putrajaya and Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> run by electric uh, system, electric current and all uh, system, they so call it commuter train, which gave, I mean, <coughs> takes people out and in for work from uh, from the city and out. Okay, I mean, we go by the uh, uh, average about six, uh, it's about about six cents per kilometer. Six cents per kilometers. All right, that's a car. I mean, coverage you do. <laughs> the payment for the toll. Okay, toll payment. And um, we have the system. We're waiting to go through the toll, and the courier has just said that. They have. I mean, in um, fact, they, we also use smart tax as well and touch and go. Okay, the, the system we use. Otherwise, you pay cash and go. Which is cheaper okay, than a liter of water. Another, uh, smart tax as well, but. Uh, Very few people uh, are using it. That is why I mean sometimes you find a very long stretch of uh, cars. Okay, the reason was because.
because during the uh, economic downturn, you know, economic downturn, okay, there were many uh, currency speculators, okay, in order to stop this, I mean, problem, because they buy at the uh, I mean, uh, time when the, it is right for them, okay, unless if you are hardcore poor, uh, hardcore poor, which, you, which means that you are earning below five, 500 ringgit, okay, yeah, as your savings towards your retirement. And, uh, and uh, another unique thing here, here is we retire at 55, at the age of 55, alright? <laughs> because uh, it, I mean, it boils down to the, you know, what, uh, how old, I mean, how long we live here, you know? Our average old age is about 70 or only. <laughs> Popular people like Bobby Charles and all come around for a clinic and all that. And all this been encouraged. Yeah? And hockey is very popular also. And job. hockey, we have a certain can't, standard. Can't Even that standard has gone down. And uh, yeah, yeah, especially on your left side, there's uh, where the whole township is over here. It's quite a nice, I mean, uh, town to live in. Quite well planned. It's a very old part of the uh, Daring Jaya on your left. Yeah. There's a commuter station over there, which goes to the Kuala Lumpur. The first, the first stretch of road was in Perak, further north, just below Pulau Pinang, or Pinang. There's another yellow patch that British to come in. And they signed a treaty called the Pankor Treaty. There was an island in Pankor, a beautiful island there in the state of Perak. Okay, so another beautiful island. If you are around, if we, if we can spend more time going to Pankor Island as well. Okay, there is a treaty signed in the seven, in the 17, uh, sorry, in the, the communist influence was coming in. Okay, and um, then I mean what happened was, I mean, they wanted to have their own party, the communist party in this country. Okay, and we also have the Malay party, the Indian party, the Chinese party together during the British time. So, at one time, we still follow the system, education-wise, education system and all that is still a British system. And uh, in fact, we have to be thankful uh, to give us the foundation, you know, that's how, I mean, the foundation is very important. If you don't have the foundation, I think you, you can't go anywhere. It will be like Indonesia here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Monarch, every five years our king change here. <laughs> okay. It is actually rotated among what we are talking about on your left. Huh? Okay, this is where it is. Because Sunga Basi Airport. Yeah. <coughs> people, people of uh, with high caliber, dignitaries, they are chosen appointed people. Come now to the, the um, King's Palace here in Kuala Lumpur, which is the garden area outside. Start walking over. Stand by the guard. And make one either end on horseback as well. We change guard every hour. Just at this idea there. Um, very busy planting new plants. You know they can work in this heat, it's boiling. the Sultan's Palace in Kuala Lumpur. It's a beautiful place.
Kuala Lumpur is a very, very, very bitter city. It's uh, traffic jams everywhere. This is the road by the palace and it's quite quiet. It's a bit more elaborate than uh, Buckingham Palace, I think. All these gardeners working outside. Work for all the rail system. You'll be meeting over there. In fact, the central station is also going to be the airport in the city. If you're taking a mass airline, you can even check in from here and board the airplane at the Cape. This is a Malay wedding and uh, I'll show you the gifts.
these are slippers. They're on their honeymoon. No, they're very pleased. Typical, this is a typical Malay um, living accommodation for poor people. This is outside the museum with these old vehicles.